Hey y'all, um, I didn't put up any videos yesterday, um, we went to the hospital to see my grandma, um, she is, is, she's, comes and goes in and out of, you know, stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I did not put up, I will say that, I, I'm sorry I didn't ever put up a Halloween one from yesterday, for yesterday either. A lot has been going on, I'm about to have, I just was tired. We were up there at the hospital, we stayed up there for a while. Um, came home and I had to cook and all that. So I was really busy but um her face is swelled around her cheek area it's really swelled up and um you know they do know that her a hernia she's had for years since she's had um a hysterectomy it's been acting up as well um she's just been dealing with the same stuff She's still not in the best of shape. Uh, we don't know. Um, we do know. Um, she's got a long ways to go. If, and hopefully and praying she'll make it through. Um, they were thinking about doing the surgeries. But they said with her age. And with her osteoporosis. And the way her heart is. And other things. She may not survive those surgeries, you know, because of her age, for one. She's really weak. She's, and her bone with the osteoporosis is like it is. It's so paper thin, I mean, pa you know, just so fragile. And her skin is really like paper thin as well. They're scared to do any kind of stuff like that as far as surgeries. Because they feel like she will not make it. And it's, as a, you know, they gave a well over a uh, half percent chance she would not make it out of them surgeries. Um, she, it, she's she been in and out of, you know, conscious and all that. So she has not been fully awake the whole time. But when she was awake, she cried a lot. She was in a lot of pain. Um, she did talk to us for a little bit, and, um, it seemed like all her health problems, they're all affecting the other health problems, you know, and she's in one big, you know, deal with all her health problems. You know, dementia's working against the other stuff, and. Um, her heart is working, her pneumonia is working against her heart, her heart is working against the pneumonia, just every, all the stuff that she's going through, all the health problems are kind of working against each other in a lot of ways. So, it did, you know, so is, we hoping she'll make it, we're hoping, but we're not, we'll, I'm, I pray she does, I pray she does, and that's all I'm going to say, because, I'm not gonna throw nothing bad out there, but you know you always have that feelings, but and it's hard because it's very hard. Uh, we saw we went up there and we all just bawled. We just cried our eyeballs out because I never would have wanted to see another grandparent bedridden. Pretty much, and that's where she's at right now, bedridden. And you know I've seen. My grandfather, which is her husband, my other grandparents, they died when I was young. So I see my grandfather, I was a little bit older, and he was pretty much in the bed. And to see Grandma tied to the bed, because she was keep right on taking the IVs out of her um, arms, they had to tie her to the bed. And her mind is not 100% where it's supposed to be she was trying to get out of bed too that was another reason so 
Right now, she is a lot to... She's got to go past a lot of this health stuff. And I thank you all for just the prayers and the well wishes and the support and everything you did this whole time. It means a lot. And it's a lot to go through and see and everything. But I just wanted to give you a close update the reason why I didn't put up no videos yesterday. And I will try to put up a Halloween video for today. Love you guys. Thank y'all for everything. Bye.